Let's talk a bit about the F-22 Raptor, the Pentagon's most advanced fighter plane. It made its combat debut. Now, this is one of the U.S.'s most expensive planes from a program which has built 188 planes at a cost of $67 billion. Can you tell us how it was specifically used in these strikes? Sure. They, they used the F-22 in the okay. second wave of attacks uh, that took that place one, one last question. night. Um, for the, and for they have the not used this plane in combat uh, before, uh, but it is stationed uh, in the Middle East. Uh, now, it has two attributes that are important here. One, uh, it is a, a stealthy plane, and it could avoid uh, okay. the Syrian air defenses if Mr. Assad had chosen to, to use that. But its ability to fly very high and very fast also allows it to drop precision munitions from further away uh, than other airplanes can. And that was a critical attribute, officials said, sorry, in choosing I'm the sorry, F-22 for anything. last night's mission. Yes, it reaches speeds of greater oh, than yeah, 1.5 yeah, yeah. Mach and claims to be the first and only all-weather stealth fighter. Why has the U.S. been reluctant to right, use it in right. combat before this? You know, uh, for a long time, most of the United States uh, military operations have been against uh, uh, militant groups, terrorist groups that did not possess uh, sophisticated air defense systems. And this is a plane designed to evade those systems. Um, and it was simply overkill for the kinds of targets um, uh, that the U.S. military was presented with. However, the UAE. Uh, we had a different situation. Although the okay. targets were militants yet again here in Syria, we also had the Syrian government that does have sophisticated air defenses. All right. And uh, and oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. All right. No, and, and, and simply that's why uh, this was the right plane for the right time, officials said. Uh, what else are military officials you've spoken to saying about the deployment of the F-22? Well, what we don't know is will it be used in, uh, okay. in All right. further follow-on attacks over the next uh, few days here. Uh, um, I'm good for And that right will, now, yeah. uh, we'll see. You know, the Air Force has been eager to, to use this plane and to show off what it can do, All although right, the military doesn't want to reveal it too does. much and, of what uh, uh, the uh, still secret attributes that, of the so plane are, right. unless it's necessary. Absolutely. All right. Now, we just heard President Obama speak on the airstrikes in Syria. Here's what he said. And once again, it must be clear to anyone who would plot against America and try to do Americans harm that we will not tolerate safe havens for terrorists who threaten our people, that we will do what's necessary to defend our country. Now, given the president's statements, cool. the emergence of the F-22, does all this suggest the U.S. is taking a much more aggressive stance against the militants going forward? All right, you know, I, I think we definitely have opened up a new front here uh, against the Islamic State, as well as, of course, the Khorasan group. Um, we may not see the same intense level of strikes with multiple nations uh, in the days to come, but U.S. officials have made clear uh, that this is going to be a persistent campaign. That's going to last uh, some time. All right. Thank you, Julian, for that.